Now you're gonna have to do it again. It's lesbian until graduation night at East Village Pyramid Club every Sunday. And the NYU undergraduates are well represented. Tom boys in hoodies and backwards baseball caps, skinny jeans sagging halfway down their big behinds, dancing in a circle with each other in little gay boy dates. It's the weekly back to the 90s dance party, and anything goes, anybody fucks anybody they want to. Early Britney Spears versus old school Madonna, Michael Jackson versus Bobby Brown, the Spice Girls versus Vanilla Ice. Ice, ice, baby, it's a bacchanalia, an orgy of gleaming, sweaty, young, fleshy bodies, twisting, leaping, swaying to the pounding bass beats, and also senior citizen Big Mike. Tupac Shakur, California, crew cut shorty approaches Big Mike on the dance floor, turns her baseball cap around backwards, shaking it, shaking it, shaking it as Tupac rap, shaking, shaking, baby, shaking, shaking, baby, shaking, shaking, mama, shaking, shaking, Cali, shorty, sure is shaking it. Dangling old glow stick phosphorescent drop earrings, and they're shaking. The blue and white flannel grunge shirt tails are shaking it. Even her peroxide mullet rat tails are shaking it. While her crew of all squeal and high pitch adolescent girly girl orgasmic ecstasy. But reality sets in. It is a Sunday of school night. Academic studies beckon its midnight time for all good little girls to stop wasting daddy's tuition money and crack them very expensive textbooks daddy is paying for. And like a herd of obedient ripe young heifers, they all strap on their designer Norwegian backpacks and march out the exit single file. But Shorty don't want to go home now. Shorty don't want to leave yet. Shorty is having too much fun right here. Her best buds try pleading with her, but Shorty don't budge. Finally, her BFF resorts to grabbing her backpack for her, dragging her outside against her will. Shorty still ain't done grabbing hold of a stripper pole next to the DJ booth, hanging on for dear life. A tug of war ensues. Her cohorts eventually loosen her grip, yanking her free. Shorty stubbornly persists, sits her fat ass right down on the beer and Clorox soaked dance floor like some terrible two year old mid temper tantrum. Shorty is really drunk. Ultimately, the club's dance floor empty, save for Big Mike and one last college co ed couple swaying to the music and making out under the club strobe light in a brash display of public affection. The scruffy beard kid suddenly breaks off from his girl, starts dancing too close, too dangerously close, right next to Big Mike, to the Spice Girls. Yo, I'll tell you what you want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friend. Scruffy takes a seat on one of the black wooden modular boxes on the periphery of the club dance floor. His painfully thin girl, tiny tits sheathed in a retro 70s tube top, languishly sidles up the big mic. Halo of jet black curls envelope her flint cheekbone face. Starts grinding her hips into Big Mike's beer belly to Michael Jackson's black or white. Took my baby on a Saturday. Bang! Is that girl with you wear one and the same? Now I believe in miracles and a miracle has happened tonight. Scruffy Beard joins in and we dance a menage a trois ballet trio to the spin doctor's two princes. One, two, princes kneel before you. That's what I said now, princes. Princes who adore you, just go ahead now! Music ends, double pump high five for my girl and boy dance partners. Scruffy Beard gives Big Mike a tutu toe tight bro hug, pressing his firm, hard, muscular stripling's chest into the meat of Big Mike's mature, sweaty man boobs. Holds Big Mike within his youthful, intimate embrace for much too, too long. Mike, is that you? Hi, honey, I'm homo. You know, dear, by all rights, I shouldn't even be here right now. By all rights, I should be holed up in some disheveled rat hole of an NYU dorm room in bed with not one but two underage drinker English literature students, a mixed couple, boy, girl, double palm high-fiving them now as we speak, right after shooting a huge load of cum in both their smiling little millennial faces. What did you just say? <laughs> Nothing, dear. What I said was, the reason I go out to the Pyramid Club is not to pick up any cheap or easy sex partners, but because, just like Gene Kelly, gotta dance, gotta dance, I gotta dance! Woo! Oh, yeah.